How's it going, boys? So today we are playing a truly rage-inducing keyboard-breaking deck. Oh yes, it's one of our classics that we have done previously, but now we can do it with new fervor. Oh yes, it is the Plains Wide Celebration. I'm gonna proliferate an emblem that will ruin your day instantaneously, deck. Boys, what a time to be alive. Anyway, two Fey of Wishes, two Search for a Scone, the four Paradisio Druids, four Urus, three Settle Dine Wreckage, three Rats of Gods, two Quadrafaris, two Jaces, unre, 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 Unravelers of Somethings, uh, four Nisses who shake them worlds, uh, three Fefaris, four Miraris, Wakes, and four Planes Wide Celebrations. Oh, yes, boys, the deck is simple. We play a planeswalker and then proliferate to an emblem, and that's that's essentially the whole plan. It, it, it's it's better than you would expect. And in the sideboard, we have four sorcerers, spy glasses, two cleanse the minds, in random MacGuffins, including Ugin, because why not at this point? And well, chromatic orrery, why not yet again? And 24 lands to be specific. Two cotton's bastions. Yeah, you know, the, the, the casual stuff, boys. Anyway, let's just get into it and see what happens now, shall we? Also, we have a new Patreon to thank. Eric Hefner. Thank you. Really appreciated every support that you can offer to my channel and me goes a very long way. So thank you, thank you yet again. And also... There is a Patreon who, who thought that we did not shout him out, and we're not gonna do it. He needs to now write in the comments that he is the one person that I forgot to shout out, and I'm gonna like his comment and you're gonna upvote it. Because that's how the world works or something. Anyway, decent start, let's see what happens. Two, two Vrat spells on this and a this. Not the worst, not the best, definitely. A game of magic is being played. Okay, so we need to get some magically how three, uh, not three, but two blue manas. Uh, that's uh, what, what you might call a deck, a deck that does stuff. Okay, wait, interesting. Didn't exactly expect to see that, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see. Five mana. I think we can start popping the Fable Passages. Yeah, I think it's Fable Passage o'clock, boys. So, let us get one of these, and then let us get... What do we want even here? What do we need? What does our life require of us? Another forest to be cheeky and sneaky? Now, let's just take an island and call it a day. Okay, boys. So, enemy currently has a very woefully slow start. And you, and you know what that means, boys. That means shit's real. Oh, yes. Okay, anyway. Decks like this usually don't have removal. Not even sure what Murderous Rider is doing in that uh, in that guy's deck. Uh, but it's there, and I don't exactly like it. But anyway, this is the plan, see? Uh, we sacrifice this blue thing, which is an island, which is the only second... Oof. Oh, that... That, that kind of ruined the fun real fast right there. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I hate you already, Silani Dissonant Avatar. I always have hated your kind. No, seriously, you, you avatars are the worst. Anyway, he's not doing... Oh my god, there goes my island. Well, not exactly the, the game breaker right there, but it's close enough. Anyway, let's take the island now because we, 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 we apparently need it. If he's... I actually still know what kind of deck he is. He seems... Is it just bl black, blue control or something? I'm not sure. We found an Uru. Which is at least feasible at this point. It heals us. It plays a land. Now we can cast Planes Wide Celebration. But the problem is we can't cast anything else, game. What the hell? How is, how is this Kozier? How is this Kozier Salt? This kosher salt is a thing. Anyway, it seems like we're slowly achieving things. And blessed by... Whoa, 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 whoa. Humbug. 
That's not what I wanted in my life. That's honestly exactly the opposite of what I wanted in my life. Okay, here we- Here we suddenly have a life-changing occurrence, boys. No, you're not gonna use that. You're not gonna use any of that. Ah, shh! We, we need to use some of that, huh? Okay, if we tap it like this, we can't use planes wide celebration. Oh. Is there a way that we tap this and it actually fulfills my deepest desires? 4, 5. 5 is not the number that I want. But... At the bare minimum... I can probably do this. And that will give me a chance for that Leia's dance. Also, this definitely gives us a chance for a Siddledyne wreckage to pop a deep poop. Okay, so here's hoping he doesn't have another Raska's Contempt or Murderous Rider. I don't like this guy. I don't like him for good reasons also, it seems like. Everything he plays currently is hurting my feelings. Boys! My Fifi's are extremely importante. Muchos importante, even one might say. So, you're not running counter spells, are you? I'm ho I'm hoping you're not. This card, two cards. Do do the thing with the with, with the primal tide. Do it and see what happens, enemy con. Yep. Wait. Whoa. 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 What did you discard? Put all creatures from. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this guy is doing some uh, real deep stuff. It seems like. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I feel a little bit endangered, but that's fine, I guess. A sphinx of whatever? No one cares. It's a sphinx. Get over it. Okay, he does that. He resurrects absolutely everything that no one cares about. He draws cards. He puts things in the graveyard. Poopity scoopity. That's still my Uru. Thank you very much. That gets put back on the field, and now we can do this. Uh, I love it how game you, you always want to tap the exactly wrong lands. It's 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 amazing. Okay, and that's Anissa ulti, boys. Should have one hundred percent done the Anissa ulti first, so the sun petal grove survives, but. This moment will not be taken away from me. Just like that. Also, we really need to start to use this card. Just FYI. Like, seriously. I, 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 I think it's time. I have had so many ideas with that card. It's a little bit a lot insane. Proliferate, proliferate. And their third target permanent? Do I want the target permanent? We could get technically an Uru back. Yeah, let's just get a target permanent back. That's fine. Okay, proliferate, proliferate. Do that, and now let's thin out the deck. A decent amount. Five cards, uh, five cards thinner. That's definitely something you want to see. Okay, so this is the plan now. I obviously still don't exactly have a plan. Oh, God. Uh, oof. Wait, he can double Sphinx now. Oh, I'm stealing that idea 100%. I previously thought... Uh, my combo was a little bit different. Okay, so yeah, he got rid of my sickness now. Uh, well played, enemy con. I hate you a lot. And are we actually just dead? 17... Six, eight. Now yeah, we can technically proliferate us to, well, greatness or something. Okay, Urus. Well, uh, it's it's better than not an Uru. Well, technically we can just cast Search for a Skunt and call it a day. Yeah, we're te just gonna cast Search for a Skunt and call it a day. Okay, so here's a Siddledyne of Wreckage. And, yeah, I'm gonna call that a day. Okay, boys, this is how we do it. 
This is this is why they call it a ride or die. Also, that's a scare of God. Annoying. Okay. So here's the plan. Enemy could attack with everything because he's over fucking confident. Attack with everything I said. Wait, that does not that does not kill me. Ah. Well, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, so boom. Not exactly sure what the point of that was. Not gonna lie, enemy con. Uh, but, but I guess you have your own reasons or something? Uh, let's see, can't do anything else though. Ah, yes, finally! The Wake of the Mirari. Yeah, 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 draw, draw some cards, why don't you? May, may, may make it a little bit uh, unpleasant for me. Okay, so this is the plan. Also, dude, you're, you're drawing a lot of cards. It's time to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna also be drawing cards. Uh, not the worst. But this is not what we signed up for, sadly, lads. Okay, what is the chances... What are the chances that he can get rid of my Mirari's Wake here? How safe is it to cast this bad boy? I think a lot. Yeah, I think a lot. Definitely a lot. Okay, great. Great stuff, boys. Well, we can always top deck. Not not exactly that. In my, um, well, didn't play it on that one, but it's fine. Okay, so here's the play in, boys. I actually have, have it this time. He attacks. No! How many Vraska's contents can you fit into a deck? You can't do that! Oh god, can you. St oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot about the deal damage because zombies thing. Okay, that's a little bit de devastating. Morally, spiritually, and whatever else form there is. Okay, so. Ooh. That's a little that that that's that that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Because um, every deck I make secretly is a mill deck, as we have already figured out from uh, making aggro decks that turn out and turn out to be Well, you know, uh mill decks. Okay, you're gonna attack with one Sphinx, two Sphinxes, three Sphinxes, that's not a Sphinx, but no one cares. Okay, a very bold, very bold, very discreet, very uptight, very upbeat, well played enemy con. Absolutely love it. Now you don't have sphinxes though, so that's a question mark. Okay. I, boys, let me tell you this. I believe that we can do it, we can find it, we have the solution, we have the nifnaf, riffraff and everything. That's an extra land, boom. And now we're gonna find a... What are we even looking for, though? Well, not Mirari's Vague, but it happens, so... You know, theoretically, I guess it's fine. Okay, enemy Kun is just continuing to draw cards. As expected. The guy's... The, the guy's a goddamn legend. Uh... If I play this, nothing bad happens, right? Can I please mill you some magically, how? That would be the penultimate awesomest thing that could happen. Okay, none of that is useful. Oh, boys. I am not loving it. How are we not drawing anything that remotely resembles an AoE Wrath? We still have them in the deck, right? Well, we have one. Okay, maybe that's the problem. Well, now we actually still have... Got it! Boys! Boys! Belief is the strongest metal of them all. Okay, good, good, good. Somehow we are, well, bringing it back. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, discard cards, no one cares. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, 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 draw a card. No, again, still no one exactly cares. Is there anything else we can get rid of? I don't want to get rid of the thirdness. We're, we're really running low on big dibbities. 
Cell Technic- oh, Murderous Rider even. Wow. Talk about- talk, talk about trying real hard there, enemy could. Okay. So, the question now becomes, if I cast this, do I have enough to cast an, uh, the Nessa? Oh, actually I do! Sweet! Okay, so let's do this. Uh, return target, return target, and gain 4 HP, I guess. We take the Nissa, the that thing, and the boobity boop. Okay, perfection at its finest. Now we can play the Nessa. Now we can uh, create a land with protection from whatever. I don't know if that exactly matters a lot, but it's fine. Also, I can do this, which is probably better than actually attacking with the land. <clears throat> Okay, and that's that's also not bad at this point. Also, why did we need one Uru? I didn't actually think about this one uh, this time, boys. But you see, the thing is, I can I I can now do the plus one with this guy if I so uh, so choose to. Also, enemy could. I am not letting you just die. Just just want to point that one out. I am not letting you just hit the floor and die. Oh no 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 no! After after all the treacherous pain and suffering you have caused me, you know what we're gonna do? Also, I think that dies when it comes into the field. It's just exiled now. Well, I guess it's whatever. I am gonna shuffle your dig back in there, and I am gonna slowly whittle away at your goddamn sanity. Because reasons at this point. Oh no, then he gets Vraska's content back. Okay, may maybe I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, you know? Who knows? Anyway, uh, that's a thing. Also, let's see what he does. He's most likely attacking a planeswalker or two, but technically we don't care enough. If he attacks a planeswalker, we just... Wait, is he attacking my face? Dude, face is not the place! Whatever. That just allows me to draw one extra card. And he surrenders. Boys! Look at this. We And we got only a Nissa emblem. Also, where the hell did all my Fifaris go to and everything else? Kind of feel kind of felt a little bit cheated in that game, not gonna lie. Uh, but anyway. That that was that was that that was pretty accurate of how, how annoying this deck is. Can you imagine the frustration that enemy Kun felt when we top decked rats when we needed to? Oh, actually, our deck has six rats. No, the fact that we even we even were under pressure is kind of bullshit. Okay, a J Cecil Dine wreckage and a gift of Paradisio Druid. Boys, perfection. Uh, let us start with this. Because it doesn't come into the game tapped, so it's a little bit useless and redundant for us. I have a feeling that's an elf deck, by the way. Ah, oh, boys. It's pre-recorded, obviously. I am I am not this all-powerful, mind-bending, mind-reading, future-telling god. Or maybe I am, who knows. Well, time will tell, probably. Also, what time will tell is the fact that these things are relatively ugly. Okay. So, what's the plan here? I can't exactly do too much here. I'm gonna just gonna do this. I think we're in a relatively okayish position. Obviously, we have a Jace with the face. Oh god, that's the Marvin play. That's the Marvin. Okay, ooh, Mirari's Wake on Mirari's Wake on Mirari's Wake on Mirari's Wake on Mirari's Wake. I feel it a coming, lads. I feel it a coming. Okay, so, that's extremely bad. I am, I am, I am currently not loving it 100%, McDonald's. So, you better give me something that I can uh, at least get behind. You know what? I can get behind this. Bam! And now, well, he's not gonna attack with everything, but as long Oh, the class... It's called being an aggro deck, boys. 
it's a sickness at this p No, seriously, at this point it might as well be a sickness. Anyway, don't play anything else, please. I kinda don't want you. Oh, another Marvin! How great! Anyway, great or not, here's a Jace. He scries and draws cards. He, he, he's like, oh! <laughs> Wait, how are you tapping that? Why are you even trying to tap that? Boys, this game sometimes is just question, question mark. Well, it's usually question, question mark. Also, extremely profound amount of, uh, you know, Let's see, uh, lands, 10 out of 10. Hey, if, if I, if I'm getting, why, why, not, why am I not getting Khan's Bastions, though? That would be my only, like, real question here. Where are all the Khan's Bastions? I heard, I heard that they're really good. Okay, now, now we're just, okay, now, now, as the British uh, would say, now we're literally just taking the piss currently with this situation. Uh, but that's absolutely fine. By the way, yes, I am looking for... Oh, boys. And there's nothing he can do about this. I can also just attack with this 9-9 Chad land. Oh, boys. This is what the deck is supposed to do. This is what we live for. This is what we str- Oh, come on! It's just three emblems, baby boo. Ah. <sighs> yep, that's- that- that- that's- that- that's one of the better ways. Obviously, we can cheese out in this emblem on turn, like, four or, uh... Yeah, on turn four. We can cheese out in this emblem on turn four if we're lucky. But yeah, Mirari's Wake, really good card for some reason. Okay, but I still do miss Wilderness Reclamation. It's a card. It's a card that is engraved in our souls as well. Absolute love. Okay, let's see. Let's see now. Uh, Uru's things. That's white. Oh, it's a dog deck. Okay. Uh, not really okay, but hey, we can we, we, we can pretend we're okay. Even though playing against a dog deck never makes you feel okay, because dog decks are dumb. What the hell is that even? Non-creatures cost... Okay. Okay, enemy con. You, you, you're playing the hard to get game, I understand, but it's not, it's, it's not gonna change the fact that we are absolutely destroying you. Look at this. You have two lands. I have four lands and a waifu. You have arguably extremely, extremely bad jailbait. So yeah, what the hell is that even? Where do you find these cards? Seriously, where do you find these cards? Wait, why does this cost so much? Oh God. That escalated real fast, though. Let's see, if we play it like this, yeah, we can wipe it. Wipe it, boys, clean, we're starting fresh. Anyway, yeah, turns out this is some kind of extremely question mark deck. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no! Fug. Okay, that's at least, well, enticing to a degree. Okay, so here's the play, boys. He attacks, we settle down wreckage, and then hopefully we call it a day. Or something like that. Let's see. Uh, I need to save it for later. Damn it. Are you gonna drop something annoying now again? Please don't. Yes, attack with everything. Be a good aggro on this avatar deck. Okay, so he has creatures in his hand. That does not honestly matter for the Teferi, hero of Dominaria. Also, it could be argued that we need to mox, uh, put a Mox Amber in our deck. But, you know. 
argue, argue or not, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Anyway, that's a search for the Skanta and a Fefari out there in the open, boys. Sometimes the wilderness. Oh! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about! The combo! Just, 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 just let me feel the emblem. This, the sweet sunlight touch on my skin of that sweet emblem. All we have, all we have felt is big bittiness in the emblem. And boys, let me tell you something. I'm a little bit well, already tired of that. We have, we have made so many decks where we cheese out in this emblem. It's not even funny at this point. There have been decks that are literally purely dedicated to this. Well, yeah, you get the point. Anyway, this looks like the exact same situation. Unless, hopefully he doesn't play what I think he's gonna play. And it's a... Uh, Totsies, Totter, yep, Totteracer. I almost forgot how it's called. If he's smart, he's getting rid of Nissachan. Yep, there he goes. Now the, now the obvious uh, uh, bait or slash ploy here is the fact that we still have planes Why? What is that? A Lurus? Okay, enemy con. You're playing a Lurus also. That's real questionable. What are you doing with Tauteration Tots, and Lurus in the same deck? I guess we will never know. As long as you don't have white, though, I don't need to, to worry about you playing Mortify and killing Mirari's Wake, so I'm 100%... What? Oh, no! Don't tell me this is that deck. Oh, not that crap again! Uh, how do I stop the crap I need? Okay, I think this will be enough to stop the combo wombo crap from happening. So the... No, we can't. Yeah, we can't just get rid of Jace anyway. If Even if we emblem him, nothing changes. Oh, what the hell? Player mills cards, no one cares. Wait, do you even have a Uru? Why? Chromatic Sphere. I have seen people play that before. Every time I see it, I question Mark of life, uh, like, well, why? Well, at least a lot. <laughs> okay, so here's the play, boys. He doesn't get the combo off. I use Wrath of God and Shabloosh. Skadoosh? And uh, he's definitely going for my Heliod's intervention. What a dick. What an absolute dick! Wait. Oh, you just milled me. You absolute tool, enemy kun. Okay. Are you gonna mill me again? Oh god, stop. I like my card. I like my deck. Ah, uh, some people just... Wait. Oh, that was not the play, enemy kun. No, 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 sorry. That was not the play, Alea. Okay, a uh, Uru. Okay, now we can do this. Shablam, boys. Yeah. But as long as we have a Heliod's Intervention in hand, we can technically stop the fallacies uh, that are happening against us. Okay, that's actually good. If we pay life there, we can play the Fey of Wishes. And nothing really changes. Because that's not blue man. But that's fine, boys. That's 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 fine. One hundred percent on the fine mark. Uh we can get back Trefari. Jesus Christ, stop with the Merfolk. How are you even getting it? Also, do you even have a single inch artifact you can get back with it, or are you just using that to mill? No clue, honestly, but it's fine. Okay, so what's the plan here? Well, that's something. Okay, so, the plan is simple. 
We cast a quadruf. Oh, okay. Maybe the plan changes a little bit. Yeah, the plan definitely has changed a little bit from from like two seconds. Ah! Yes. That is what they call perfection at its finest, boys. So, enemy kun, I heard you're a dick. Well. You have met your match, let me tell you that. Okay, why are you gonna even get back with that? Why are you looking also at my Mirari's Vakes? Is there anything you can achieve by doing that? Okay, fine, you got it, you did it. Congratulations, Chromatic Sphere played. Whoop, whoopity, whoopity. Okay, but... <sighs> Is it just a chromatic sphere combo with uh, Emery? Is is that really it? Is this peak magic right there, boys? Oh god, the Lotus. Well. <laughs> oh, boys. Boys, you know what's about to happen, don't you? Okay, so first. Return, 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 return. Get that back, get this back, get that back, and oh, land, why not? We haven't played one, we're almost getting the full value of mana back. Oh, we have played land, huh? Okay, in that case, just do this. Bam. Oh, thank God we can still cast it, boys. Proliferate, proliferate, proliferate. Okay, a bunch of proliferation has just been done. Also, we're gonna do this now. It's amazing, it does things. Okay, watch and learn, boys. Pay life, pay life, pay life, pay life. Nothing happens but dominance and short. And now you do this. And now we got out of mana and are hoping that we don't lose in the next uh, next move. Otherwise, it's going to be severely devastating. Also, I actually did not want to play this. I wanted to play the Quadrifari. That way we can exile two, two things, aka this and that. And then he can cast the combo. But I'm actually pretty sure whatever the hell he's doing, it's not your casual uh, Jace Legendary Mill bullshit deck. So technically we are 100% safe from all, all, all things unholy here. Okay, boys. Great to know, I know. Also, I really hope the Quadrifari, the Fifari doesn't die. Also, why is this one wearing a cheeky woman's gown, and this one is wearing a little bit of a less of a cheeky woman's gown? And why is this wearing pants like a man? man? I still kind of want to buzz him, buzz him up to her, but it's fine. Well, boys, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're a Chandra man. Oh, yes, boys. Big Mommy Chandra, please step on me. It's like a milk boss, but... Oh! Boys, the mill boss! Anyway, get rid of search for a Skanta. Pretty sure it does 3 damage when you get rid of a land. Yep. Okay, he's continuing to do bullshit that we do not exactly care about. Anyway, he has 100% rapidly lost, okay? So that just happened, which means Lotus is gone. You know, j just that special place in my heart. Uh, we do this. Now we can get uh, get that land back. It's fine. It's fine. We can now do this. Oh, look at that. Now that is gone. Now we can do this. Oh, look at... Damn, that's a lot of planes-wide celebrations. And now this is gone. Oh yes, boys. But wait, the fun doesn't stop there because we can get to do the Faith Wishes thingy. Bam! And since we have a lot of mana because of that, now we can do. <sighs> okay, I guess we're doing a chromatic orrery. Uh, yeah. Not gonna lie, boys. That was exactly not the plan. But. You know, three cards are good enough. Okay, and now this is gone. And he surrenders. Boys. What a deck. What a time to be alive. Oh, yes. Also, mandatory comment. It's just platinum. 
No one cares about you. The fact that you try that the fact you want to play magic on a competitive level already is an indicator of very high stupidity. So there you have it. Anyway, so this is the deck boys. It's pretty good as you can see. A lot of people are probably extremely unhappy about playing against us, but that is what we want. That is what we thrive on. We're what you would call an energy vampire. I know it sounds pretty lame and gay, but that's because I got it from an older woman who called me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, so this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, Ham already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.